Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. Youngstown City Council this evening rejected a fact finder's report that would have given raises to the 100 member police patrolman's union. A majority, but not all of council, made the decision after being told the raises must also include a large increase in revenues, which is not foreseen anytime soon, or a large decrease in expenditures, which the Tito Brown administration apparently does not want. Contract issues with the cops, it's our top story at 11. At this evening's Youngstown City Council meeting, Finance Director Kyle Mizek showed that should City Council accept the fact finder's report of one and a quarter, one and one percent raises over three years and the cutting of step increases from 12 to nine, it would cost the city nearly $870,000 over the life of the contract with 60% of that coming in the third year. So by 2021, we would have to increase our revenues or reduce our expenditures by a combined $548,000. Myasek also said the union demanded that speed camera money be used to pay their salaries. And the fact finder used the money as a way to fund wage increases. It's currently used to buy police equipment and it's council's decision on how the speed camera money should be used. They believe that they have the authority through legal counsel to force you to make changes when you are the appropriating authority. That is the union's position. A majority of counsel did agree that speed camera money should not be used for salaries. Ray? Yes. Council voted 6 to 1 to reject the fact finder's report, with the 5th Ward's Lauren McNally the only one voting to accept it. If council wants investment in the city, then she says council should invest in its services. I think it's just disappointing that the administration continues to tell us that we can't afford our safety services, but at the same time, they're doing nothing to increase our tax base and our revenue. Mike Ray of the 4th Ward voted to reject the report, saying the step increases are the issue. We need to give our, our officers raises. I agree with that. I think the percentages are in line with what the other unions are getting. We need to fix the problem. We have a structural issue. Hopefully, they'll sit back down to the table with us and be able to negotiate. Michael Anderson, president of the Patrolman's Union, texted me a, a statement about council's decision. He said, I, as well as the membership, will take a long and calculated look at all of council and the mayor for this vote of rejection as a rejection against this union, the employees, and the citizens of this great city. To the lone one who stood for us, I pray that favor follows her and is upon her in everything she puts her mind and hands to.